Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to all my new subscribers, welcome. Lovely to meet you. Um, so today I am going to film a what I've bought from Amazon or items I've bought from Amazon during lockdown. Um, this is definitely stuff that I didn't realise I needed but has actually come in really, really useful um, during our time in lockdown and it's still uh, really, really useful. Um, <clears throat> I pretty much use this stuff like every single day. If not, then as and when I need it. But let's get right into it. I have quite a few things to show you. I didn't even realise how much stuff I actually purchased in the last, I think this is week seven of lockdown. So in the last seven weeks, I literally like can't believe how much I've purchased from Amazon because although I do buy things from Amazon here and there, I don't usually shop a lot from there. But obviously with all the stores being closed, more likely to purchase online than going to a shop. Um, even for like things you can get from the supermarket. If it's next day delivery and I have Amazon Prime, it's so convenient to just click the button on Amazon and it's literally at your doorstep the next day. Although they have said that they're prioritising food orders, which I completely understand. Um, that's obviously necessity, whereas the stuff that I'm ordering isn't necessary. Um, however, they've still been really fast with their delivery. So even though they send an email saying estimated delivery date, blah, 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 it still has been arriving before that estimated delivery date, so I'm really impressed, Amazon. But let's get started, otherwise I'm literally going to go on and on. Um, so to begin with, I'll show you guys what I've... Uh, my most recent orders, so literally got delivered today, um, and then I'll just go through everything that I purchased, basically. I'll tell you the prices, and I'll also leave all the links down below. I did have a look at some of the links the other day, and some of the things that I've purchased are sold out but I believe if you add it to your basket um, Amazon will notify you once it's back in stock so but yeah I will leave all the links down below so today in my delivery I received um, two of these I didn't even realise I purchased two I thought I only purchased one but two of these raw virgin coconut oil um, of these of this <laughs> um, so it's certified organic cold pressed chemical free unrefined so this is like the purest form of coconut oil um, I think it was like eight pounds for this uh, jar and it's 453 grams 100% pure the reason why I ordered this is because I want to start putting oil in my hair regularly um, this is the perfect time to do it perfect time to take care of your health your skin your hair, your nails, everything. Um, and that's really what I've been focusing on. Um, and we won't go into that too much on this video because obviously this is not what this video is about. But um, that's why I purchased this because once or twice a week I want to use this on my hair and just get my hair into the best condition it could possibly be in. Um, obviously I don't have anywhere to go so it doesn't matter if I'm walking around the house with super oily hair. Um, so yeah. That was the item that got delivered today, and then the other item that I received today were these Bior, <coughs> excuse me, Bior or Biore, I don't really know how to pronounce that, um, nose strips, so there's, there's six in this box, um, and they're ultra, dri ultra deep cleansing pore strips with witch hazel and tea tree oil, um, they instantly unclog pores by removing dirt, oil and blackheads break up with blackheads it says at the bottom so basically I've noticed I don't know if I've always had these but I've noticed in the last like well last few weeks since I've been locked down my blackheads are so bad on my nose um so these are desperately needed I haven't actually used them yet because as I said they only were delivered earlier today um but I'm definitely going to be using these either tonight or tomorrow because I need to sort my nose out. It actually looks disgusting. So these I think were around five pounds or five ninety-nine. Um next up I ordered this is now this is in no particular order because I've literally ordered so much over the last seven weeks, can't remember in what order I ordered them. Um this it looks a bit dodgy, but this um massager or massager, however you say it. 
Um, it's really good. So I actually tried this out at my husband's cousin ha cousin's house like months ago, and it's so powerful. Um, and my husband's obsessed with massages, so I thought I'd get him this. So when I don't physically have the strength to massage him because he likes like a really deep tissue massage, um, I got him this, and it has different attachments. So it's called um, Renfo, like as in R E N P H O. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it has different attachments. So this is just the attachment it originally came with. It's just like a round one. Um, but it has like one that has like three bubbles and loads of different ones. So you can change the attachments. You've got a charger that you can um, that you can obviously charge in. So you just put it on. It's like, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a charge charging port and you just put it on top of that. Um, so this was twenty nine ninety nine, really good price, and I think it was like originally forty or fifty pounds. So it's actually an offer at the moment. So if you want that, and also it's got different settings. So you turn it on, so it's on at the moment, and you can just like you know use it down your back and use it on your legs. Um, my husband's in the background trying to distract me, <laughs> and then it's got different modes. So you can, you, it's got arrows to have it on powerful or low power. So it's on high power now, and then it's got different modes, so it's either continuous vibration, or it's got like pulsating vibrations. So it's pretty good, really powerful, I do recommend yeah. it. Um, for the price, it's brilliant. So yeah, like I said, that was £29.99. So next up, I bought um, this cake stand, it's the Lakeland... <laughs> it's the Lakeland... Um, uh, a Lakeland and Mary Berry one. So basically, Mary Berry um, collaborated with Lakeland, I believe, and came up with this. It's just a cl acrylic clear um, cake stand, and I really like it. If you saw my last, my most recent video, actually, it probably won't be the most recent when this video goes up, but my vlog that I put, put up a little while ago, um, which was my husband's 30th birthday in quarantine vlog, um, you will have seen that the cake was on this. I think it looks really nice, even when you just bake any cake, put it on here, it just makes it look so much nicer. So I ordered this, I actually ordered this for his birthday, um, but it's come in handy since then as well. And this was, I don't have the price on here, so I can't remember, because I think when I went to check on Amazon how much I paid for it, I couldn't find it and it was out of stock, so, but it might be back in stock now, but I'll leave the link down below. Um, and then next I got this Zacapa Ram, so I actually got this um, for my husband's birthday as well, uh, but we haven't actually drank it yet, but it's a really nice rum, it was £50 and it's just very, very easy to drink. So it comes in this nice like gift box thing and then that's what the bottle looks like. So if you're a rum person, then try this rum, it's really good. And yeah, that was 50 pounds. And then next up, so since being in lockdown, the first two weeks I was literally a big fat pig. I was just eating absolutely everything and not doing any exercise. But then um, my friend recommended Kira London. I think I might have mentioned her in one of my previous videos, I can't remember. If not, follow me on Instagram, at Just Jeeves. You will see that I do her workouts pretty much six to seven days a week now. And um, I will also be starting to follow her nutrition plans. So because of that, I ordered some fitness equipment because I didn't own any before because I never did home workouts. I always went to the gym. But of course, we're in lockdown. Gyms are closed. So I'm now working out from home, which actually I'm really loving. And if you don't, if you haven't heard of Kira London, um, you need to check her Instagram out because she's amazing. Her workouts are really good, really fun. Um, I mean, they're kind of like torture as well, but they are fun as well. Um, so I've got this yoga mat. I'm not going to open it all up because it's too big, but um, it's really, really thick. So it's like a foam mat and it's so thick. So if you're like me and your knees hurt when you're working out, in t like doing intense workouts, your wrists hurt, your ankles hurt, basically everything hurts. Um, this is a great mat because it's just so padded that when you're doing any working out on the floor, it just really, really helps with that. Um, so this yoga mat was £24.99. And then along with all of that, <clears throat> all of the fitness stuff, I also purchased 
some resistance bands and they come in this cute little pouch. Um, so these are the Gritin, I don't know how you say it, I think that's how you say it, um, Gritin resistance bands. They were 11 99 I believe and they come in different um, strengths. So this is perfect because you might start your fitness on a really low strength and then slowly, slowly, as you get better, as you get stronger, you will build your strength up. So it comes in one, two, three, four, five. You've got five different bands here. This is the lightest, then you've got medium, then you've got heavy. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And then you've got extra heavy, which is this one. And then you've got extra, extra heavy. So I haven't even used this one yet because literally... The medium one even kills me, so I don't know what the hell I'm going to be like with extra, extra heavy. But the goal is to obviously get there eventually. So this is really good because, again, it's for all fitness levels. You can start on the lightest and work your way up. And then the final thing, kind of the final thing, I purchased for fitness equipment uh, were these dumbbells. So I don't need to do any more working out today because I've already done my workout for today, so I won't do that. Um, but yeah, so these dumbbells, they're 3 kg because I'm a weakling and I can't have any uh, stronger than that yet. But hopefully it will um, build up my strength soon. Um, I think I've been doing her workouts for like, this is my fifth week. So this, this week, at the end of this week it will be five weeks. Um, so it's been about a month so far. So yeah, 3kg, obviously when I build up my strength I will order heavier, but because we do so many reps, I didn't want to order something too heavy, because then I won't be able to do all the reps and I won't be able to keep up. So I wanted to do something that I would still be able to do and keep up with. Um, so these dumbbells were actually quite expensive, however, it's only because... I purchased these because I really wanted them for her workouts because I felt like other things like, I don't know, like tin tomatoes or baked beans, they weren't really effective, they're not heavy enough. Um, so I did just order these because these were like the only ones available at the time. Obviously, since lockdown, everyone's been ordering dumbbells and kettlebells and um, they were all sold out literally everywhere. So I was lucky to get these. Um, again, I'll leave the link down below. Hopefully they're still in stock, but these are 33.98 really good though and then next up I haven't got this to show you because my it's a plant pot and my plants in the living room and I don't want to bring my whole oh my god my hair uh, I don't want to bring the whole plant here but I got a plant pot just for a house succulent plant and that was I'll leave the link for that that was 6 99 and also for that plant pot I got the um, compost for it as well because my plant was getting very large and it was in a tiny pot so I had to repot that into the bigger pot that I purchased and obviously I needed compost for that so the compost was £3.50 um, and it was a special succulent plant compost so again I'll leave the link down below for that as well and then next I purchased these Brita filters I will always purchase mine on Amazon um, but if you have a Brita filter jug I think a lot of households have these now uh, I definitely prefer drinking filtered water tap is fine um, but I just prefer the filtered water and I prefer room temperature water so I leave the jug at, um, in the kitchen at room temperature I don't put it in the fridge so this uh, was a pack of three so I brought some filters and I got a pack of three for 15.49 and then I also, as part of my fitness, uh, you know, my new fitness regime, I needed a new shaker for my protein powder. And I also purchased my protein powder from Amazon, um, which I will show you as well. Actually, I haven't got it here, but I'll explain to you what it is. Um, so yeah, I just got this shaker, simple, and it comes, lid pops up like that. And it comes with this wire ball inside just to like shake all the stuff up properly. Um, this was really uh, affordable. It was £2.99. And then next up I got the protein powder Misfits one. I'll show you these because these are the Misfits protein bars I got. It comes in a box also from Amazon but the same company. So here it says Misfits. Same company, they do protein powder and they also sell that on Amazon. Or you can buy it directly from the website. I believe if you buy it directly from the website you can actually... Um, 
get like special offers so the more you buy the cheaper you get it for um, but yeah if you want to buy from Amazon for faster delivery they sell it on there as well so I bought I purchased the protein powder and chocolate flavor and that was um, 20 pounds and it, I think it has 20 servings in the bag there's not a massive bag but it's vegan it's uh, really low on sugar it's basically all obviously vegan all plant-based it's only got 78 calories per serving and I usually have that with um, like oat milk or almond milk um, so yeah and then these uh, uh, protein bars were £16.95 on Amazon and they're so delicious so I've got the chocolate hazelnut flavour and you get 12 in here I think but I've still got quite a few in there as you can see I'm actually going to have one soon once I finish filming this video I would have one right now but I don't think you guys want to watch me eating do you um, yeah so that's like all the health stuff and then also along with that because I felt like the protein powder it was too powdery just shaking it up in the bottle so I then went and purchased a magic bullet so it's basically a Nutri bullet but just like a smaller version and it comes with like a few different attachments so this is the larger one and it also comes with this and then like a go to top go to not go to to go top so if you need to go and you need to take your shake with you it comes with this lid as well so that's pretty good um it's not as powerful as a nutri bullet but it's it's as good as it just takes a little bit longer um but not it is still quick to be honest so in my opinion it's a great purchase and this is cheaper than the nutri bullet so um this was 39.99 I believe the nutri bullet is like 60 or 80 pounds so this is great value for money um, I make smoothies in every morning so I literally use it every day now and then I brought um, some health stuff just because um, you know with all this coronavirus stuff going around COVID-19 I wanted to make sure that myself and my husband are both in good health so we have been checking um, I've just realised that I haven't done my nails and that's why I, was, I paused for a second because I looked down and I was like, oh, well they look awful, so apologies for that if you can see that on the camera. Um, yeah, so then next I brought an oxometer and it comes with this little case and it's basically, you put it on your finger like so, you've probably seen it in the hospital if you've ever been into a hospital and they need to check your oxygen levels. So this is for checking your oxygen levels and you press the button on the front and you just leave it on your finger, you have to stay really still and it checks for your heart rate and your oxygen levels so this is really important because apparently for those who have coronavirus your oxygen levels can drop and if your oxygen levels drop below 90 I believe or even below 95 it's really dangerous and you need to basically call the ambulance so at my at the moment my heart rate is 72 resting heart rate is 72 and my oxygen level is 99 which is perfect and so yeah this we just purchase to keep track of that um, and this was the oxometer was 35 pounds and also with that we purchased the thermometer because obviously with coronavirus you do get a high fever slash temperature um, so we just purchased this thermometer which was 9.99 and then I'm down to the final two things now guys so I purchased these disposable gloves because when we're going out obviously we want to um, keep our hands protected so obviously as soon as we come back inside or indoors we throw the gloves away which is just so much more convenient still wash our hands afterwards but I just feel like it gives that extra bit of protection and also because the coronavirus is pretty bad in London we just want to make sure that we're taking all the steps necessary to protect ourselves and to protect the rest of the public as well um, so I don't actually know how many are in here, I think like 150, there's quite a few in here. They're just plastic gloves, nothing fancy, and they were 7 99 And then finally I purchased this book, um, so it's called Beyond the Pill, and I actually found this lady on Instagram because someone recommended her from um, Body by Kira Squad, which is the fitness group that I'm a part of on Instagram and um, someone recommended her because it's she's like a hormone doctor and I currently take the contraceptive pill 
and I originally started taking the pill years and years ago when my skin was really bad, had really bad acne and I was put on this by my GP to control my acne and um, obviously over, year, over the years and um, after researching it I've noticed and realised that the pill is actually not that great for you. I don't know much about how it affects my health because I feel absolutely fine, I don't think I get any side effects um, it has really controlled my acne and I feel absolutely fine but for my my concern is when I come off it because eventually I will want to come off it when we want to start trying uh, when we want to start a family um, I'm worried about the side effects that my body will have once I come off it because it's so used to taking those hormones in every day from the contraceptive pill. So this book basically tells you how to restore your hormone health without the birth control pill, which is basically everything I need um, to know before I come off the pill. So I'm def I haven't started reading it yet, but I've heard brilliant things. I got it from Amazon and it was, um, how much was it? £9.63 and um, it looks really good. It's a 30 day program to balance your hormones, reclaim your body and reverse the dangerous side effects of the birth control pill. Um, she posts some really good stuff on her Instagram as well so if you want to look it up she's called Dr Jolene Brighton. Um, I think she's actually got coronavirus at the moment herself so she's actually sharing her journey of um, her symptoms and how she's getting through coronavirus at the moment. Um, but yeah, so it, this is honestly, like, if you're, if any of you are in the same boat as me and it's, this is something that you have wanted to look into and you want to know more about, I recommend this book. Also, right now, like any minute, I will be going on to Instagram because there's a hormone doctor going live and I'm going to watch her videos as well. If you want me to do a separate video on this hormone stuff, then let me know um, and I will do maybe once I've read this book and when I can share more tips and things like that with you guys. Um, there's so many things that a hormone imbalance can cause. So things like bloating, bad skin, um, I don't know, irregular periods or heavy periods. Uh, loads of things I can't even think but those are the things I can think of off the top of my head um, so yeah let me know if you want me to do a separate video on that but that is literally everything I've purchased I, it's a pretty long video because I purchased so much stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye